Por el corro, weón. Oh, I just got in from uh, Vegas. I just go pick up uh, the champ. You're like the Colombian Santa Claus. Yeah, so we strong. As on my right, undefeated light heavyweight prospect, a big fight coming up for you. Um, tell me a little bit about your thoughts with uh, Tommy Gunn uh, next month. Él quiere saber este es un prospecto muy este conocido ahorita tú le das la tormenta Álvarez y este quiere saber un poquito de tu contrincante. Bueno pues. Contento, preparándome fuerte aquí en Viper, California, con, con mi equipo, con mi entrenador Mar Ranzi, eh, con Ángel Heredia. Eh, la primera vez que me preparo eh, de esta manera. Para mí es una de las mejores preparaciones que he tenido en, como en mi carrera profesional hasta el momento y eh, espero que no sea la primera ni la última. Uh, all my camp has been going great. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's one of the best camps I've ever had. I'm very, very uh, proud to be part of this camp here in Big Bear, California, uh, with my 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 uh, uh, manager and trainer, uh, Mark Ramsey, mm -hmm. and of course Memo Heredia. And it's just been one of the most uh, ex phenomenal experiences that I've had okay. in my career. And how familiar are you with your opponent? Um, how would you assess, you know, him? Este, ¿qué tan familiarizado estás con uh, tu contrincante? Pues eh, lo que conozco de él es que es un boxeador zurdo. Eh, viene de ser campeón de la asociación Ivo de 168 libras. Eh, pues lo, de lo que se basa pues a, a su carrera que entre los papeles tiene mucha más experiencia que yo. Pero eh, contento de, 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 de enfrentar a un boxeador como Tomás Ustuso con, con, con la experiencia que él tiene. Porque me, me daría más vitrina a mí eh, ganándole a Thomas Ostusen y hacerlo por el canal HBO. Entonces, estoy contento de afrontar un boxeador como él. I'm very excited in reference to uh, fighting Thomas because he is a, a very well known fighter with a, a phenomenal record. Uh, it is a, a, a great honor to be fighting a guy at his caliber with his experience. Um, it is, it, it's something that I've been looking forward to, fighting somebody in his caliber because he is a southpaw compared to my uh, orthodox style, but uh, I'm looking forward to this fight. Okay. Um, you, you know, you're born in Colombia. Uh, take me back to the, your childhood. What was life like for you growing up? What do you remember most about that time? Tú eres de Colombia y este, uh, naciste en Colombia, eres de allá, uh, creciendo en Colombia. ¿Cómo es tu este, crecimiento y cómo uh, fuiste este, criado allá? Bueno, pues eh, mi crianza en Colombia como, fue como, como cualquier eh, crianza de cualquier niño en Sudamérica. Pues, primero que eh, vivíamos muy bien, mi papá trabajaba en una, una muy buena empresa. En Colombia vivíamos bien, no nos faltaba nada, comida, todo. Eh, con el transcurso del tiempo que eh, saben que la violencia en Colombia ha azotado bastante, ha afectado a, a muchas personas, eh, pues nos tocó a, a nosotros. Mi papá eh, renunció a su trabajo por, por, por miedo a, a hacer eh, que le pasara algo por, el, por medio de la guerrilla y cuando mi papá renuncia de, a su trabajo pasamos eh, muy mal cuando renuncié a su trabajo, luego vino la muerte de mi madre, seguimos pasándola mal porque ya, ya mi papá había perdido su trabajo, no era lo mismo. Pero como todo... Okay. Uh, Let him translate some of it then. Okay. okay. Uh, as uh, ch as uh, a child growing up in, in, the, uh, in uh, South America, it is a very challenging of course, uh, it was great childhood growing up there. Of course, however, uh, my father was uh, growing, up, growing up. My father had a great uh, post in uh, one of the uh, uh, great uh, companies out there. However, because of the civil war that's going on down there, uh, we had to, you know, he had to resign because of the fear of uh, the family. Of course, and getting getting uh, in a in a bad situation for us. Um, of course, then. Uh, loss of my mom happened, and so uh, it got made very, very challenging for us uh, growing up, of course, and and um, it, it got tougher for us in our in our upbringing. Okay, when did boxing coming to your life? Cuando vino el boxeo a tu vida? 
Te pasó mi vida llegó a los 14 años, a los 10 años, perdón. My boxing came in at about 10 years. I changed all. 10 años eh, por medio de mi madre. Through my mom. Porque no le gustara que no le gustaba cuando yo salía de, del del colegio me fuera a la calle. She uh, because of the reason why is that she didn't want me to get out of school and uh, as soon as I get out of uh, school we'll go to to uh, you know gang related situations and 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 uh, positions that she didn't want me to get involved with. Y mi primer entrenador eh, vive al frente de mi casa. My first trainer uh, was actually my front door neighbor. Entonces mi madre habló con, con él para que me llevara a entrenar. So she, my, uh, my mom actually spoke to him uh, so that I could, he, he could take me out to train for, with him. That's Pero a mí no me gustaba el bolseo, me gustaba era cantar. He, he actually, I mean, for me, it, it, it's not something I was looking for. I actually mm. wanted to become a rapper. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no rapper. <laughs> but, but just the music in general. So música know? tradicional okay. en Colombia, so traditional como el vallenato. Okay. Vallenato, yeah. yeah. Pero cuando ya mi madre muere, en el 1999 que mi madre muere, yo quiero seguir boceando por hacerle un homenaje a ella. Uh, you know, but uh, as soon as my mom passed away in 1999, uh, I ended up changing my, my, my uh, goals just to give her uh, a, uh, the, the, the ambition and goals that she had for me. Okay. Um, those early amateur days, you know, you were, you were training in the gym full time, getting those fights under your belt. What was that like for you? Why did you like that so much? Cuando estabas este como amateur, este por mucho tiempo, qué qué es lo que te gustaba de de esos esos esas peleas y esos combates pasando por esa etapa? Pues cuando era amateur, lo que me gustaba lo de más que todo de de los combates era cuando era más difícil. Cuando uh, yo tenía un combate difícil, era donde más me emocionaba yo, más, más me, me entusiasmaba. Uh, you know, when I was in, in, uh, in amateurs, what really uh, got me going and motivated me was when I had a uh, tough opponent. That really motivated me into getting into involved a little bit more. Porque hubo muchas ocasiones que me iba a enfrentar con algunos boxeadores, buenos boxeadores en amateur y Hubieron muchas ocasiones que la gente dudaba que, que no le podía ganar. Uh, because, you know, uh, when I was an amateur, there was a bunch of uh, fighters that I had to, uh, opponents that I had to face that were very, very tough opponents and mm -hmm. people doubted me. And, you know, what happened is that it motivated me to prove myself that I could be better than them. Okay. Entonces, eso es normal, pues, eh, a todos los, los boxeadores siempre van a estar dudando si uno le va a ganar o no. Pero, me hacía más fuerte. Porque yo quería demostrarle a ellos que le podía ganar. You know, uh, when, I, when I was going into that situation, it, it, like any boxer would go through and face deficit and, and a, a uh, opponent that was a tough opponent, we would definitely, it would really inspire me to become better and beat them because they were doubt, people were doubting me and that opponent thought I couldn't beat them. So I ended up uh, getting, uh, getting more uh, emotionally involved into it. Okay. Um, you live, you're based out of Canada now. How did the move come to where you went to Canada, if you could tell me that? que tu cambio este fue de Colombia a Canadá ahora eres pasado de Canadá este cómo fue eso eso tu la situación de que cambiaste a ser este canadiense uh, porque en Canadá fueron uh, como que concluyeron más con para hablar con, con Oscar mi compañero y conmigo para llegar a un acuerdo a, a firmar como boxeo profesional y por ese sentido me yo vi pues más esa claridad de, de seriedad con, con la compañía de, en Canadá y por ese motivo tomé la, la decisión de irme a boxear a Canadá The reason being is that when I was in, in Colombia, uh, you know, Canada actually come, came, came over and, and uh, you know, look, looking for good fighters and they, they actually uh, confronted it. my, my uh, uh, approach, my, my friend Oscar and myself, uh, to become professional fighters from mm -hmm. Canada and it, and it really intrigued us and it made, motivated us to become professional boxers for them. Okay. Um, now your professional career, um, you know, 13 and 0, I believe, eight knockouts. What have these early fights been like for you, fighting in Canada, starting to get some exposure, going up in the rankings? What's it been like? Este, eh, con tu experiencia ahorita de 13 eh, victorias, cero derrotas, este, ocho knockouts. ¿Qué es tu experiencia que has uh, tomado y, y obtenido en este punto? Uh, 
a este punto de, de, de tu carrera? Pues eh, he tomado eh, mucha experiencia, no, no la suficiente, pero uh, siento que sí, eh, eh, de cada combate que he tenido como profesional, he agarrado, eh, agarrado un poquito de todos. Eh, pues el mejor ejemplo, la última pelea que tuve con Edison Miranda, que hasta el momento ha sido la pelea más difícil en mi carrera. Eh, voy tomando cositas, voy tomando cositas para, para, para ir tomando más experiencia, para aprender más, porque necesito aprender más. Eh, tengo 29 años, tengo 13 peleas, pero cada día uno va aprendiendo más. Uno es como lo, los médicos, los doctores, cada día salen cosas nuevas en la medicina y así mismo los doctores tienen que capacitarse para ellos aprender las cosas nuevas que van saliendo en la medicina, así mismo estoy haciendo yo, voy aprendiendo de, de cada combate, voy aprendiendo un poco. You know, uh, given the fact that I know it's, uh, my, I'm at 13 and 0, uh, I'm learning every day, it's something that it's new to me every day, I'm learning and I'm uh, open to new ideas and new uh, philosophies of, this, of the sport. Uh, just like medical uh, in the medical field, like mm. doctors are always learning new new remedies and new new uh, uh, cures out there. The same way in boxing, uh, I know every every battle that I've had, uh, the most recent one, um, I'm learning every day and every battle that, that I go up against every every opponent. My la latest opponent, which is uh, Miranda, uh, it was very tough and 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 it was one of the best experiences that I've, I've, I've captured. Uh, I'm always going to be learning and I'm open to new ideas and, and, and trying to learn more and more of the sport every day. Okay. Um, how about the culture and the people of Canada? How much of a culture change was it going to the new environment and what do you think about life up in Canada? How do you see the culture and the change of the environment from Colombia to Canada? What is the difference between different places? Well, the difference is a lot. Very, very different from one to the other. Because I come from a region called Urabá. He comes from a region that is called Urabá. Turbo Antioquia, Apartado Antioquia. Turbo Antioquia, Navarra. Es eh, apartado, apartado Antioquia. Apartado Antioquia. Son, eh, son regiones que son 33 grados centígrados de, de calor. They're like, they're, they're uh, areas that are 33 uh, degrees uh, Celsius of, of heat. <laughs> El ambiente de la, de, 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 es muy diferente, es un, eh, una región muy alegre. Eh, todo el tiempo estamos en fiestas. It's a very, very nice uh, atmosphere down there where there's always uh, uh, festivities going on in Colombia. Eh, pero al llegar a Canadá, que es, es un país muy tranquilo, el frío también, cuando eh, en la época de frío es muy duro, todo, todo el mundo lo sabe. Eh, pero siempre he dicho que cuando eh, tú tienes, eh, ¿cómo se dice?, una meta, Uh, it's very different, of course, because of the uh, the, uh, the temperature, of course, and it's very, very uh, quiet and peaceful up in Canada, uh, very tranquil. Uh, but n now that I'm up there, it's it's, it's showing me different different aspects of the, of the country. Pero cuando tienes eh, una meta, when you have a goal, un, un, cuando tienes un propósito, and you have a purpose uh, in, in your career and your life, tienes que olvidar eh, todo eso. You have to forget about everything that back home. Tienes que dejar atrás todo, uh, toda tu cultura. You have to leave back your culture. I mean, you have to come forward to, 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 your, to your new grounds and new expectations of your career. En, en muchas veces dejar también a, atrás la, la familia. You have to leave back family and friends back there. More, more importantly, family. Para luchar por, por lo que tú quieres. To, to fight for what you want. You know? eh, lo que yo quiero es ser campeón del mundo. What I, what I want is to be a world champion. Y no ser, ser un campeón del mundo y, y, y solo eso, quiero ser un campeón del mundo sólido. I don't just want to be a world champion, I want to be a solid world champion. Eh, retener el título las veces que yo pueda. Uh, retain my title and, and, and defend my title as many times as I can. Eh, porque me le prometí a, a, a mi madre que iba a seguir boxeando por ella es un homenaje que yo le hago a mi madre uh, because uh, I, I promised my mom that I would be uh, fighting uh, yeah. for her uh, mainly y también eh, eh, el boxeo eh, tengo mucho que agradecerle el boxeo I have a lot to to, uh, to be gratified to the boxing world dicen que el boxeo es un deporte desagradecido uh, they say that it, the boxing is a, uh, a, 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 a sport very un... Uh, uh, on candy. 
Sí. Pero yo soy muy agradecido con el poseo porque eh, el poseo es que me tiene aquí donde estoy. I'm very gratified with boxing because it, it has me where I am right now. Eh, me ha ayudado, me ha ayudado mucho a mí a mi familia. It's helped me a lot, my family and myself, to get to where I'm at. Y pues no sé el día que ya yo no sé más si no llevo a ser campeón del mundo. I don't know if uh, one day or another, but uh, God forbid, but uh, if I'm not, if I'm not, not going to be boxing uh, anymore. Uh, I want to make sure that you know there's something more out there. Seguí agradeciendo la posición porque me ha dado mucho hasta ahora. I want to. Uh, I'm very gratified with boxing because it's given me a lot until I have uh, uh, up to up to now. Oh, and just a few more questions. How did you and John Pascal cross paths? What was it like meeting him? What's it like training with him, being in his team? You know, part of his camp. Uh, este, quieres saber. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo es que tú viniste a, 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 al campamento de, de Jean Pascal para este, estar en esta situación y cómo ha estado este, uh, esta situación para ti? Bueno, eh, porque esta pelea es, es muy importante para, para mí y para la compañía. Porque esta es una muy importante para mí and the company. Y, uh, el entrenador de Jean Pascal es mi entrenador también. Porque tenemos el mismo entrenador, uh, Mark Ramsey. Y sabemos que cuando nos entrenamos junto con, con Jan es, eh, somos muy competitivos. Uh, and the reason uh, that, that uh, brings us to, together is that we are very competitive. <laughs> Él me ayuda, yo lo ayudo. He helps me and I help him. Y pues contento de, de estar en un, un campo de entrenamiento con Jan Pascal. I'm very happy to be in a training camp with uh, Jan. Porque no, no conocía a Jan como... Uh, para, en convivencia. I've never, I had never treated uh, Jean in, 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 a, in, a, uh, uh, in a camp like this, in, in, a, in a togetherness, a family oriented. Yeah. Solamente era en el gimnasio. Just in the gym. I mean, this is the first life, real life experience that we, we it's like surreal being here in the y, same camp. Y conocer a Jean como en convivencia, como conocerlo más a fondo, eh, eh, me, eh, me ha dejado pues un, muy sorpresivo, muy contento, tengo, eh, porque no le conocía ese lado a, a Jan y pues eh, ahora se lo conozco y estoy contento de, de hacer un campo de entrenamiento con él y estar entrenando con él. I'm very happy and gratified uh, being in the same camp with Jan because I, didn't, I had never met Jan in, in a intimate uh, way as a as, as friend, as, as part of the same camp and it, it, make, it brings a lot of joy to me to understand his perspective of life rather than just a sport but as a human being and, and it, makes, it makes things very happy for me in, in this camp. Thank you very much and best of luck to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.